Hey guys, hello, welcome back. Um, in this next episode, I am going to... I'm just going to sleep quickly. Um, just to catch 40 winks, so we've got a bit of light for when we start. Uh, in this texture pack, I love these pictures. They're so... oh, they're just awesome. Ah, oh, I love them! Um, this is the bedroom that I'll be covering, and you kind of in the position it is. Try not to look too much at it. It's not... There's still a couple of things I want to do, but I might do that in the video um, in the next one. Um, so come back to find out how I've done my floating bedroom at the top of my house. Um, again, it's not too hard. Um, you probably have an idea of how to do it, but it's something I did when I wasn't recording. And um, I, I kind of like it in the house that it's set, so come back for that. But what I want to cover today is my uh, mushroom skyscraper which is uh, structurally it's it's getting there um, now you can see in here that these are mushroom stalks okay so there's mushrooms um, and I took away the dirt block which I put the mushroom on and, and, and put it with snow so it looks a bit better um, now the way you do this to get something with a I mean, I, I was quite random with the mushrooms at the start, but I've built these here to kind of give you an idea. If you do one block and then give two spaces and another one, um, I th actually it might be three spaces. I think this is wrong. Um, it might be three spaces, but if you space it like this, put a mushroom on, bone meal it, mushroom on, bone meal it, it and then uh, do kind of maybe nine that way and maybe seven this way, um, it will give you a basic structure. Um, and you can put mushrooms straight on top of mushrooms as long as there's enough space. Um, but this is the general exterior of um, my skyscraper. Um, I've messed about with different places. As you can see over here, There's a, uh, it comes out a little more. Um, one thing you have to be careful of is, as you can see here, um, there's times when the mushroom above doesn't match the mushroom below, which again is like this because of the way it was planted. Um, so something you need to take into consideration is how you're going to maneuver that. Um, and there's other things as well, but I'll show you once we get inside. This is just to give you an idea of what it's like on the outside. Um, <clears throat> so here we are, uh, just glowstone in the floor. That's how it looks in this texture pack. Um, this was hard to make look nice. Um, I tried to keep the structure of the mushroom and to make keep the shape. Um, and it's generally five across, and then there's a space, and then it starts again. Um, but what I'd advise to do is just do the outside walls and then if you want to put any extra on the inside then do so um, but it's it's basically symmetrical apart from these kind of parts um, a video in the future is me is going to be how I'm going to do the staircases um, on this next part um, because I haven't really sorted that out yet um, and this here is going to be a water pool um, I didn't put any mushrooms on here on purpose and I've left this open um, and I'm going to roof this, but it's going to be a big water pool that I can dive through and come out the bottom with the signs in the water. If you don't know what I'm on about, then, um, yeah, I will show you, come back for the video, it's probably the best thing to do. Um, but I'm probably going to make it out of glass, um, and then it's just an easy way down because it's, it's quite a way to get up. Um, but as you can see, it's quite random in in places and there's a lot of fine tuning I need to do this is one thing that's an issue when doing this though is if you destroy by accident one of these they're very easy to destroy which is part of the mushroom you can't put it back so you have to fill it in with kind of random blocks um, this is the generic shape of a mushroom though so it's one two three four five uh, five by five um, no it's five and then there's a, a seven so it's a five and a, and a seven long. So seven by seven, but without the corners, basically. Um, so, yeah, you need to take into consideration that once that's broken, that's broken. I do love this room. I love this little extra that I've added here. Um, as you can see on the outside wall, you can see I've done the... If you just take this generic shape on the outside, then you can decide if you want windows there. I've decided to fill this place with windows. I like it nice and light, so... I've done that and again put torches around each stalk um, yeah I've just tried to link them again there's going to be staircases up to these these are just temporary uh, staircases a big A here because A for Ashley and it's going to be like Ashley Corporation's building this wall still isn't finished um, the amount of times I've had to go to the nether to get my uh, netherrack is 
ridiculous, ridiculous how many times. Um, but it's worth it because I'm really liking how it's taking shape. Um, again, over here as well, this isn't actually got a mushroom above it, so um, I think I'm going to make this a big glass dome here. Again, I'll do that in a video in the future. Here again, you can see where I've accidentally destroyed a mushroom and it's ended up having spare blocks, which is annoying. So annoying, so annoying. Um, but again, it's it's just part of it. I'll, I'll find a way to make it look a little bit more appealing. Uh, getting rid of the snow is a big thing as well. Um, now here, uh, to my right, uh, this is going to be my bedroom uh, in this building. Um, what I'm going to do out here is make um, an elevator as well. So we'll have um, uh, the pool here. So we'll jump from here uh, to get out uh, to get down the bottom. Um, and maybe along here we'll have uh, uh, a minecart elevator. If you don't know how that works, um, I'd say check out Erosium's channel. Um, and he makes them, um, and it's basically you put a minecart on top of iron bars on top of a minecart and you jump to the minecarts. It's a really good way to get about. And I like the idea of having an elevator in a building like this. And it works exactly the same as an elevator does really, so um, I'll be doing that. Um, so yeah, this is going to your bedroom. I still need to get rid of the snow. Um, glass roof again because I love the idea of the light and it still works. Need to get more glass for this. And this is my balcony which you can see kind of the rest of my world. The village looks really nice. Uh, if you want to see the village, if you haven't seen it in my last video, then check that one out. Um, but yeah, this is going to be kind of the penthouse I saw it as. Um, but we still have higher levels to go. Again, I'd, I think what I'm going to do with the lower levels is make it into kind of an office building. So find ways of making computers and desks and chairs and really fill it out and have uh, lounges um, there's some great great minecrafters out there who do some really good uh, kind of videos on how to make things look like it's a house and things like that um, so I think I'll take that up and, and really you know spend you know a, a, quite a while on this um, this again this is a really nice space because they're joint so it's really nice and this is my this is going to be my new library um, which is again just made out of glass but I love the way it's on top and I think it's a really nice centerpiece um, to finish the place off because it was a mushroom by itself and uh, yeah again as part of the penthouse um, just a nice place to chillax, chill out you know do the things um, and it is quite easy to get down if you haven't got an elevator but yeah this pool will serve uh, as a way to jump down but I'll find a way I'll do it so that it will be kind of four or five blocks up and take away these bottom two so I just fall through it and then I come out the bottom but again I'll show you how to do that in uh, a later video um, <coughs> but that I'd say is basically everything um, the structure's taken me quite a while it's taken quite a few hours to get this right um, and I'm still working on making it look you know kind of symmetrical uh, there's a balcony here as well which was underneath that I don't think I showed you that but you will see it in other videos Ooh. I'm drowning. Um, but yeah, that is Ashley Corp's uh, skyscraper. Um, again, if you need any help with that, then uh, leave comments or anything. You know, again, it's quite easy to pick up, and I think it's nice to put your own twist on things. So just um, let me know. Um, I'll show you this quickly. This is what I mean by having something down. So what you do is you go down. You have water at the bottom, so you fall through and you don't die and if you put a sign here it holds the water so you can just shoot straight through um, and the minecart elevator I haven't done on this yet um, but this is just down to my mine um, which is down here where I've just been doing some strip mining which I got some lovely uh, diamond earlier which was brilliant um, so I can make some more make some more of the things um, but yeah that's everything for today guys um, if you like the building or you uh, feel free to leave any comments or um, uh, any you know if you like it then give it a like if you don't don't worry it's alright and subscribe for more videos again I'm gonna do one on my mob spawner um, in a little bit and I'm I've got so much to do on the skyscraper as you can see and hopefully it will start to fill out so it'll be great to take the journey with some of you guys um, and also yeah uh, one on my bedroom yeah one on my bedroom okay 
Um, but thanks a lot, guys. Um, this is Ashley. Uh, peace. I'll see you soon.